is up everybody welcome back to another dokkan battle video my name is d free and in this video we're gonna go ahead and use selza it has been a while since i've even considered this unit but you know what i was like you know what let's just go ahead and, and max him out and, and use him a bit uh max out his sa to be more specific i had to use kai's for it so just rip the kai's press f in the comment section <laughs> to show your respect for the kai's anyways hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless subscribe of course to the channel if you do happen to be new to the channel and uh we'll get into the full breakdown on the unit and why I chose a team that I did as far as soon as it is concerned. So anyways, let's go ahead and break them down. So first and foremost, end types get two key and 60% to their attack and defense. This unit does the death ball, which does supreme damage and greatly lowers defense, attack and defense plus 70% with a high chance of attack plus 30% in addition. So an additional 30% chance with a high, or excuse me, an additional 30% attack with a high chance. <laughs> he also has a high chance of recovering 10% of your HP at the start of the turn. Link set is very interesting. I like it a lot, actually. Brutal beatdown, nightmare, shocking speed, prodigies, big bad bosses, and fused fighters. So, key links for him. I mean, shocking speed is awesome. He's extreme int too. Extreme int really likes shocking speed. It sucks that certain units in that unit group did not get it, but for the most part, they like that link. Otherwise, this is how this unit breaks down. Really like that art too. I appreciate it. Uh, if we go down here. Again, the only category he's in is the one that we are using. If you're wondering why he's in this category, he's from the Dragon Ball Heroes. Heroes? No, Fusion. I always get them mixed up. I'm glad that I said that right, and I thought about it the right way. You see the little armband? That's from uh, where he's from. So, anyways, let's go. He's doing the Frieza stance, isn't he? Oof. That's nice. <laughs> oh. All right. Anyways, so, ultimately, I want to get the Android 17 and Kid Buu on the other sides of Frieza, or Salsa, I guess. So that's what we're going to try to work towards. So anyways, there's no chance at crits or additionals because I didn't have a dupe. And I didn't think to summon for dupes. I never thought I would actually use them. So, you know, units like that, especially int types and stuff like that, that don't get a free chance at doing additionals or critical hits, I guess maybe I should consider more often <laughs> summoning for a duplicate for this exact... Oof! Oof! Oh, oh wow, wow, that caught me way off guard. I know who will not be getting any more supers for the rest of this video. Wow, um, so let me explain. So unlike the Omega Shenron event, which literally requires the GT link to be active, this one says any character in the Shadow Dragon Art category, which SS4 Gogeta is, does increase damage here. And I totally forgot that because <laughs> I was like, oh, let me, bring, let me bring him as like an insurance policy, right? Turns out he's the ultimate insurance policy. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> never mind. That's not going to be a thing. So, all right, Gogeta, that was a good laugh. <laughs> Guys, leave a like for 5 million from Gogeta. That caught me way off guard. Goku and Vegeta, no supers for you. All right. I got to give Celza the chance to shine. And also, the cool thing about Celza is that they are, uh, again, a unit that has the fused fighter link. So they can fully utilize that on this type of category. So 450, not too bad. You guys saw how much investment mine had. You can already see this is another one of those units that could potentially do over a million damage on crits and at 100% uh, of the potential system, doing tons of damage. He's just another one of those units that will be really, really good in a lot of situations in this game. This is very unfortunate right now, though, that Kid Buu is here because Kid Buu literally buffed the whole team. And I, I like it when he does that. I, I appreciate it. But, like, right now, I, I really don't want him to do that because I don't want to give these two units any super attacks <laughs> like I'm literally not interested in giving anybody here a super attack and I was going to leave Gogeta in the first slot but I was like what if he gets hit with a super and counters it you know and does a counter crit for like five million right so <laughs> especially with Kid Buu there yeah please stop this is gonna do a lot of damage oh my goodness <laughs> Oh my goodness. This man almost did a million damage with a normal attack. Relax, bro. All right, so like I said, this is basically best case scenario. Aside from this, we want Kid Buu for the big bad bosses. Now, the issue with Kid Buu and actually big bad bosses, now that I think about it, is his stupid passive isn't conducive. So it's kind of tricky to trigger it. But the good news is big bad bosses can trigger mid-turn. So what that would kind of look like is it would be, oh, me going in with um, me having the setup and getting that boost from the Kid Buu's passive at the start of the turn. And then immediately after that, 
what would happen is uh, Kid Buu would then from there hopefully take some damage and then be able to trigger big bad bosses for the team. So next time we see the setup, Pandel will actually be replaced by Kid Buu. And I'll try to, again, utilize it that way that I just kind of pointed out. So this unit takes quite a bit of damage. Uh, 685,000 attack stat as we see here. So not too bad as far as the attack stat goes. We're doing about 500k if we round up the numbers. So I'm not I'm not mad at that. Like, I think I think that's a very, very good amount of damage for a unit that does not have a Dokkan Awakening yet. They have Dokkan Awakened some of the Dragon Ball Fusions units. Also, this unit has a kind of low key multiplier at 135%. So that does also hamper or hinder, I guess, its ability to output. But otherwise, if it's not picking up the additional 30%, it's doing all this damage with only 70%, you know? So that's very good, and also it has, again, the chance to heal you up, and, and the longevity is very good, uh, and one thing that's cool about Extreme Inn is they have a few units now that can heal you up like that. They have the coolers that can heal via links. There's probably a few more units that I'm not familiar with or not remembering. There's also the Itzamasu who can heal you too, and he's able to tank pretty well too. Uh, this is going to be a super if I give them that because their ability to get additional key per rainbow orb, so I'm not good, I'm not going to do that. We will. This, this, should, this is not going to be a super actually. Oh, one key short. Jeez, man. That passive plus two extra key per rainbow is actually busted. That's actually insane. I can avoid it, though. Okay, so Kid Buu, I need to make sure that I don't... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take the turn because right now I'm in prime position. I can trigger Kid Buu first, and then I can let somebody stay in the first slot, and probably Kid Buu, actually. Uh, and then that'll trigger Big Bad Bosses midway through. So this is actually perfect. And I have an int opponent. Oh! Wait, no, 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 no. We have a tech opponent. Okay, I was going to say, like, oh, no, Gohan, I'm sorry. I have to pick on you because I don't like picking on Gohan. But I just realized, no, 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 no. We're not using a physical team. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. No physical opponents. How about you two just stop? There's no more additionals, no crits, nothing. Gogeta, please. Thank you. All right, so I got the healing just now, which is kind of cool, I guess. But... Not super cool for what I wanted to do, but it's not too bad because I'll still be able to do what I wanted to do either way. So Kid Buu was able to apply the buff. Hopefully, I got the additional 30%. We got the healing. I don't know if they're independent. It, the, the way that the passive reads off is that they're independent. Like, they should roll each independently. Okay, so to begin, you're going to get your attack and defense boost. So now we're going to look at the additional 30 or 50% chance for the uh, additional 30% attack. Will you get that? Yes or no? Okay, cool. Now let's move on to the HP regen. Are you going to heal this turn? Yes or no? That's kind of how that would break down the way that the passive is, is written. So I'll have to, you know, try to figure that out in the future. But right now, I could not tell you. But we'll figure it out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Dang! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Zelda was actually supposed to target that Trunks. So we'll be right back in literally just a second, guys. All right, so we are back, and we're going to go ahead and try to get this completed the correct way this time. So I'm going to let you go after Gohan, eliminate him. I've kind of already said my whole spiel that I was talking about earlier, so I really don't care. And you know what the good news is, is that I can actually get the orbs the right way, too, because I was kind of too busy trying to get my point across and, and explain what I was talking about. So now we actually are able to kind of do this the right way. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go after Goten with uh, Android 17 there. Okay, so again... The most important links are all active. Hopefully, I get hit with the super. Oof, don't need to get hit with the super. It hit pretty freaking hard, yo. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, Big Bad Bosses is now active. <laughs> don't, do not need to get hit with the super. All right. Over a million attacks that. I wish we could crit. 700K. Oof. Almost a million damage. Okay. All right. I feel it. Jana, bye. Shout out the fighters. I feel it okay. Almost a million damage output. That's pretty nice, man. I freaking I, I really, really enjoy units that can that can be versatile like that. Now I had to I had to kind of jump through hoops to get him that good, but still, it's so awesome when you can see like a unit that's like him that's not that's not naturally uh awakenable, right? They're just again capped out at being a, the cells freeze a fusion capped out of being a SSR. There's no TUR version or anything like that. So they don't get fierce battle or rebirth or anything. So they're kind of hampered by that. And then, of course, the stat gain that they would get by getting an awakening. And I like that. I like that type of thing a lot. So, guys, hope you all enjoyed that. All right, 1.4. So we're going to probably most likely finish it off whoever is next. <laughs> Maju. Okay, can we crit? Okay, thank you. I was kind of worried about that guy. 
Pendel, please. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we'll uh, we'll get a chance to attack one more time, but this time we won't get access to. What are you guys? What are you linking? What is? Oh, you're not. It's just Fuse Fighter. Okay. I was like, wait, wait how are you linking? What is? What are you two linking for? Fuse Fighter and Shocking Speed, I believe, actually. Oof. All right. Gogeta will not get a chance to attack. I forgot what I was saying prior to that, though, so rip the dream. All right, goodbye, Goten. It was nice knowing you, bruh. Rip real to real. All right, 400K. Huge difference. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Huge difference <laughs> in output there. All right, so I need to kick you off rotation again. And I don't really care about these two kind of kind of doing their thing here right now because he's got a lot of HP. I don't really mind it right now. Um, we're going to go right there. That's almost max key again. And right now, I will use this. And I'm actually going to stack this alongside the Whis. So that way, I can keep Kid Boo's passive going into the next round. And we are good to go after that. And yes, if you didn't know, they do stack. Their effects do stack. So basically, nobody's going to take any damage this turn. And also, if he supers me, I might take double and triple digit damage. I might take less than like 10,000 damage, which is pretty awesome. All right, depending on who it is. I had to put that last little bit in there because if he tries to super 17, then he might... Uh, ha! Super 17. If he tries to super tag that guy, though, he might take, like, over, like, 1,000 damage. Otherwise, nobody else would take that much damage. Uh, 975. There's a super! Triple digits! Screw your dragon. Worthless. Ah! Oh, wow! You really had to invalidate what I said. You really had to invalidate what I said like that. That's how you feel. You know what? Yeah, I, I'm going to say this is the reason why the defense reduction. I'm going to say that's the reason why. His super attack, don't at me about it. Let's see the defense. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 72 versus 14. That is an insane amount of defense loss. Oh, my gosh. Wait, where's the, where are the stats at naturally? Plus 3,600 for me. This is part of it, too, probably. Oh, we have the exact same stats. We both had three dupes. <laughs> this is how much he lowered my defense. Wow. I should have noticed we were the same, though, because we had the exact same attack stat, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that man does not play. Hopefully, I can get a Dokkan attack here. It's really close. Hopefully, I can get it. But, yeah, that man did not play around. No games. <laughs> He's freaking just destroyed my defense. Come on. Give me that. Oh, I can. Oh, Pandel. Damn it. <laughs> we'll be right back in literally just a second, guys. I seriously don't think I've ever had to put in two cuts in a video, ever. Like, I don't think I have. And I was like, you know what? This is going perfect, but not so perfect, actually, now that I think about it. So I just have to make sure that I do this this way, actually. So that way we don't get a freaking super with uh, the first slot unit. Pandel should still be able to trigger the Dokkan attack with his purple orb. That low-key triggered me a little bit. <laughs> so I was like, wait, this shouldn't be a thing. Wait, what's happening? Oh, Pandel's going to get a super. Okay, hopefully I get big bad bosses. Come on. Hit me hard, Goku. Do it. <laughs> Launch a super. Ah, just a little bit. I'm at like 85. Dang, I just need a little bit of HP. And before they healed me at the beginning of the turn, then that's why the Whis item just came back to kick me in the butt. Because if I didn't have Whis there, I would have totally got it. Should have did what I did previously. Took the turn and, and set it up that way. But it's cool. This time we have double supports. So the shooters will still do a lot of freaking damage. Okay. Oh, 970. Okay. No chance at a crit as well or additional super. So those little things, like I said, intelligence type units, they get shafted with that pretty hard. No chance at doing anything else. Goku, please. Please stop with this defense reducing attack. Come on now. They are not playing when they say great reduce. I, I'm i so mad that that actually matters when they do it to you. That really bothers me. It always has. But it doesn't matter when you do it to them, huh? Is my defense back up? Yeah, it's fine. 106,000. Okay. That's what I like to see. You know what? Just because I don't like you now. Hopefully I get a counter hit. I did that on purpose. Hopefully I get a counter hit. We're going to roll the dice. See if I can get that counter hit. I don't like to do that on purpose. All right, let's see what happens. Give me that counter hit. Come on. Come on. Or additional super, maybe. Oof. Oof. <laughs> this freaking normal attack crits. 
Oh, Goku, you freaking scared. Scaredy cat. He didn't want to launch a super because he knew it was going to go right back to his face. All right, guys. Well, that is it. Hope you all enjoyed this heavily uh, mistaken ridden, but good. I I I'd say it worked out pretty good. Showcase of Selza. Anyways, have an awesome day. Thank you for tuning in. I will catch you all in the next Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video.